guys welcome to my channel my name is Annie thanks for joining me on this my second ever YouTube video Yay! Um, before I get started in talking about the reason we're here which are the Jeffree Star cosmetics um, jawbreaker and mini breaker palettes um, I just want to give huge props to everybody out there in YouTube land who um, decided to do this and has actually been able to make a living at it. I'm super impressed with you guys. Um, like seriously impressed with you guys because this is a lot harder than it looks. Um, I think a lot of people watch YouTube and think, oh, I can do that. How hard is it to sit in front of a camera all day and talk about the things you love? It's hard. Mm -hmm. It's hard. Um, I'm doing this for fun, not because I want to make money, but just because I like makeup. Um, and being more mature, I'm 42, soon to be 43, um, I find that there aren't a lot of, um, there's not a lot of content out there for people like me. There are some amazing YouTubers that are over the age of 40 um, that do beautiful work, amazing work. Um, but I feel like I'm a little bit different. <laughs> I have purple hair. I wear bright colors daily. Um, I don't wear neutrals as a rule. And so, you know, I thought, hey, there's gotta be other people out there like me. I've met quite a few in my little, my little hometown here um, who are like, boy, I wish I had the confidence to wear, you know, bright colors and things like that, but I'm just too old for that. Um, and, you know, I'm here to say, no, you're not. You're only as old as you feel. You, um, you should do the things in life that make you happy. We only get older, we don't get younger. So find the things that you like and just go for it, do it. Um, so yeah, um, so here I am. So again, huge props to all the YouTubers out there who do this for a living. Um, this is not my job, this is just a fun hobby. Well, I hope it's gonna be a fun hobby. Um, right now I'm feeling a little bit in over my head. Um, my editing skills are terrible, um, I need new lighting, I need a new microphone, it's summer break, I'm an educator, which means I have zero dollars to spend on those things. So here I am in bad lighting, bad sound. It is what it is. Um, thanks for hanging in there with me. Um, I will be upgrading soon, maybe September, maybe, when uh, we're back to work and back to school and back to a paycheck. So anyways, um, let's go ahead and talk about Jawbreaker. Unless you've been living under a rock, you have probably seen about 5 million tutorials on these two palettes. They are um, quite fun, quite colorful, um, lots of fun to work with. Um, and Jeffree Star's latest collection, he never ceases to amaze me in, um, in his creativity. It's pretty amazing. Even if you don't like him as a, a, a person, you have to admit that he is one creative person like one creative soul. Um, I don't know where he gets it all from, but it's, it's pretty amazing and pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in seeing how I got today's look using both the Jawbreaker and Mini Breaker, please stick around and watch the tutorial that I put together for you. Um, and when that's over, we'll talk about final thoughts, how I feel about these palettes, whether I think you should pick them up or leave them on the website. Um, spoiler alert, if you are a fan of color, I think you should definitely grab them and grab both of them at the same time because it's easier on the pop pocketbook that way. Um, so yeah, if you want to see uh, this little bit of mutton dress herself up like lamb, please stay tuned. Um, and if you liked today, what you saw today, please click that subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss any notifications. Um, I upload in the summertime, it's going to be more than once a week, but once school gets started again, it'll probably be about once a week. Um, and please go ahead and hit the like button as well. That would really make me happy um, to see somebody like my video and think I'm not just talking to myself, which I probably am. Um, so yeah, um, go ahead. I'm gonna head us right into that tutorial now and I will see you guys on the flip side. Thanks, have a great day. Why did I say that? I don't know because it's hard. All right, so as you can see, I've already got one eye um, mostly done. I still need to do the under eye area and the liner, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, how I achieved what I've done so far over here. So starting with the shade Purple 
Punch, which is this center shade here. I am going to take that on, um, let's see, step one for the money. It's just kind of a flat shader brush here. Um, it has a little bit of fluff, but not too much. And I'm going to concentrate that on my outer V and up into my crease. Now it's okay if I get this on my lid because I am going to go ahead and cut my crease. And um, again, I do have hooded eyes, so I always need to make sure that I can see that dark color when my eyes are fully relaxed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pack this on. Now this is not the most pigmented um, shadow that Jeffree Star has ever made. Um, it gets the job done, but I do have to dip in quite a bit to get the intensity that I like. Um, that doesn't bother me too much, um, just because I know that I can't go overboard and not blend that out. So once I've got that kind of laid down in the shape that I want it, I'm just gonna kind of take my brush and run it along that edge to kind of start to blend it out a little bit. Not adding any extra color, um, just blending out what I've already put down with what's on my brush. All right, I'm gonna leave that for now. I'll come back to it. Um, next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Four Play, which is this top shade here. Um, it's kind of, uh, it's not picking up so well. There we go, that's a little bit better. Um, you know, it's kind of a pinky purple shade. It's lighter than this shade. Um, but darker than the shade Bubblegum. So taking that on a tapered blending, this is the Luxie 231. I'm gonna pick that up. This is definitely more pigmented, I think, than Purple Punch. Um, and I'm gonna start blending that along the top of Purple Punch. Um, just starting to create that gradient effect. Um, Again, taking it into the inner corner, blending small circular motions. Just wanting to kind of intensify that outer V, bringing it down underneath into my inner corner. And now that I've laid that down, that blended out really nicely. I do have a bit of a harsh line here. I'm not sure if you can see it. So taking that original brush that I started with and just the smallest bit of purple punch, I'm very lightly, barely touching my skin at all, going to go back in and start blending that line so lightly. And this time I'm just kind of using windshield wiper motions because I'm trying to keep it very contained and just blending it into that shade foreplay. But I don't want it to take over. Definitely need to add a little more out here. Okay, and now we're gonna move on to the next shadow. Um, up here for the top, I am going to use the shade Bubblegum. Um, that shade is also in the larger Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. All right, this I'm actually gonna start, I'm gonna have it touch my eyebrow, especially here in the inner portion of my eye. My eyes are not super large. I don't have a lot of lid space to work with, so I do like to maximize and use all the space that I do have. Now, Bubblegum is one of those shades that's packed pretty tightly in the pan. Um, it does have a nice color payoff, um, but I definitely have to tap more than once in order to get it onto my brush. All right, I'm gonna kind of match. I took it a little higher there, so we're gonna bring a little bit more over here. I'm still seeing a harsh line here, so I wanna blend that out some more. This time I'm gonna go in the reverse order. I'm gonna go ahead and take some more uh, foreplay and run it here on that outer portion. Um, let's see if I can get these two to blend a little bit more seamlessly. 
in small circular motions here. And I am going right over Purple Punch while I do this to see if I can get some of that shadow to blend out a little bit. All right, and one last time with this original brush, um, nothing else on it, but this is the brush that I started with and we are going to go ahead and blend that a little bit more. Okay. I am going to go ahead and cut my crease off camera um, and then I'll come back, we'll apply the pink and the glitter and we will go from there. See you in just a moment. All right, I've gotten that to match as best I can. Um, to cut my crease, I just used my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 00, which is the white one. Um, unpopular opinion, it's not my favorite concealer. Um, I find it a little thin in consistency. It works fine for cutting the crease, um, but I, when I run out, I'm, I'm not gonna be repurchasing that. All right, let's go ahead and add color to that cut that uh, area where I cut. I'm gonna go into the Jawbreaker palette and I'm gonna take the shade Cotton Candy, which is the bright pink shade. Um, I'm just gonna start by picking that up on my finger. This is a fairly crumbly shade. I'm not sure if you can see that, if it will focus there. It's fairly crumbly. Um, and I'm gonna start by applying that to my lid. one more time and then I'll go in with a flat shader brush and make sure I get that right up to that line at the top. So going in with this flat shader from Alomar I'm just going to continue applying that shade Cotton Candy all over that area that I cut out. This shade is a really beautiful shade. It's very pigmented. Um, like I said, it's quite crumbly. Again, that doesn't bother me so much um, because I always do my shadows first. I don't really have to worry about fallout. If I get a lot of fallout, I just go in and um, use a makeup wipe and clean that up, no problem. All right, that looks pretty good. Now for the fun part. As far as I'm concerned, a look is never finished until there's some glitter. So I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Gel in the shade Saturday Stardust. I am really happy I picked these up. Um, they are, I think, one of my favorite purchases so far this year. Um, very chunky glitters, but they are eye safe. So I kind of want to start by concentrating this glitter here in the inner corner. Now you do have to work with these a bit. They have a tendency to want to stick where you first put them. Um, and when you get them into your eyelashes, boy, is it difficult to get, get it out. Um, I'm gonna bring it up here all the way to that line, but I wanna make sure that I don't get any over the line. Oh, to do this, I'm just using the Urban Decay, um, the brush out of the electric palette, and I'm using the very, the small end here. Um, I think I've mentioned before um, that, that this really is like one of my favorite brushes for detailed work. I just use it all the time. Um, going in with a little bit more glitter. And we're going to start to kind of diffuse it a bit and drag it out towards the outer portion of my eye. I just need a smidge more. Again, I kind of place it there at the front and then drag it out to get that wash of color. All right, now I'm gonna go in and blend here. So taking that very first brush I used and some purple punch, we are just going to meld these two shadows together like so. It doesn't take much. They're already blended pretty well. Um, and the final touch here before I put my foundation on 
um, and come back to do my under eyes is I'm gonna go in with um, the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the shade Cat Call just along the top of that cut crease. Um, I find that because my eyelids um, are a bit more mature, I'm a bit more mature, um, I like the definition between um, where I cut out the crease and um, my my shadows up top. Um, just because my eyelids are a little crinklier and I find that that kind of disguises that a bit. All right, so there's where we are now. I'm gonna go ahead, put my um, face makeup on and then we'll be back to do the under eyes um, and yeah, and I'll show you the final look. All right, so here's where I am so far. We're gonna go ahead and get to work on the lower lash line. Um, to do that, we're gonna pretty much mimic what I did um, on the top lashes. So I'm gonna start with this NYX um, eyeliner in, I think it's just called purple. Let's see, pretty violet. And we're gonna take that on the outer third portion of both my waterline and just at the lash line. Go ahead. And it doesn't have to be perfect at the lash line um, because I am going to blend it out um, with shadows. So we're gonna do the same thing on this eye. And then, once I've got that in, um, on the rest of the lash line, I'm gonna go in with this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in the shade Woodstock. And we are going to run that again on the waterline and the lower lash line here. And making sure to blend that into the purple. Now, the Pretty Violet pencil is pretty matte, um, whereas Woodstock does have some shimmer to it.
All right, so this is the final look. I'm really, really pleased with the way this turned out. Pinks and purples are really my favorite colors if you can't tell. Um, so let's talk about my final thoughts on these palettes, the Jawbreaker and the Mini Jawbreaker. I really um, like these palettes. I enjoy working with them. I enjoy the shade selection. The only thing I would change is to add some lime green, specifically into the Mini Breaker. I feel like having the shades bite me and bubblegum in both palettes is a bit redundant, and I feel like it would make it a more well-rounded um, collection if we had maybe some lime greens. Um, if we replace these two shades with a matte lime green and a shimmer lime green or metallic lime green, um, that would make me ecstatic, and these two combined would be like my perfect rainbow palette. Um, I actually enjoy the fact that the matte shades are not quite, especially the deeper mattes, are not quite full pigment right away. Um, I tend to be one of those people that wants to build up the color so that I don't wind up with a harsh line or a bunch of fallout on my face. So I really, really enjoy the, the formula of these matte shades, especially um, the one I used today um, out of the Jawbreaker and Delicious. This is a really, really pretty blue. It's really dark, um, but it doesn't give me any fallout. And you can see um, how pretty that is. I really, really enjoy that. I've used that in a, a couple of looks. Um, so yeah, I really, really like these palettes. I'm really happy I purchased them. I think they were worth the money. Um, if you enjoy colors, if you like rainbow palettes, you will definitely enjoy these palettes, especially if you don't already have any in your collection. I think that this is a good starting spot. Yeah, they are kind of pricey, but when you buy the bundle um, and get the two palettes at the same time, I feel like um, you're getting a lot more bang for your buck that way, and it's definitely well worth the price tag. Um, as I said before, the shadows are wonderful to work with. I haven't experienced a lot of kick up in the pan. Um, the only one that I had any issue with I feel like at all being at all crumbly um, is this shade here cotton candy um, which is definitely a very soft shade um, that doesn't again that doesn't bother me at all it goes on beautifully you don't need to wet your brush to get full pigment it's absolutely a stunning shade um, so yes I think definitely well worth the money I am um, glad that I purchased them. I'm glad that I have them in my collection and I will definitely continue to use them, maybe do more tutorials um, on these palettes. Just, you know, the eyes, not the full face or anything like that. Just so that you can see, you know, how I like to put together color. Um, so yes, that's my final thoughts on these palettes. If you like color, definitely go for them, definitely purchase them, definitely worth your money. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified every time I upload. Currently, that's about once a week. Um, and thank you again. Have a wonderful afternoon, have a wonderful day, a wonderful morning, whatever time of day it happens to be. Make it a good one and we'll see you next time. Bye.